Unfortunate. Unfort. After whiffing every chance we got an electric type before Faulkner, and then hitting some unfortunate luck in the fight itself, we were back at Newbark Town for Run 2. We stick with Cyndaquil for its early game consistency, and decide on drinks as the naming theme for this run. We hit the starter again on Route 46, but this time it's the much more valuable Chikorita. Doduo, Poliwag, Swinub, and Beedrill all join our team on the way to Violet City. This means we've whiffed our first shot at an electric type yet again, but still have four left on the table. First is Route 36. I just want the sheep. We're never gonna see that sheep. Next is Route 30. It's Pikachu! Oh shit, it's actually Pikachu! Oh, and he winks at me! Look at a cute little guy. Finally, our first electric type. Pikachu is frail and fast, so it fits a different niche than Mary, but it still helps our team diversity enough that we're able to keep the run deathless through Sprout Tower. With a lot of solid mons, our EXP is spread out much more evenly than last time in this spot. That luxury combined with our solid box allows us to gamble on the baby Pokemon fight again, to grab that additional chance at Mary before even stepping in the door at Gym 1. We luck out with a crit on turn 1 and dodge a crit with Milk the Cubone to see if we can finally get the elusive sheep. But I mean, we still already have electric type, but having two, or at least a water type would be nice. Alright, finally! And on our last shot, on our second go around, we finally meet 7-Up the Marib. You'd think this would make the gym squeaky clean, but a crit sludge from Zubat on the second fight throws our plan for a loop. This is recoverable, but a hypnosis on the swap into Quava has us having to risk a high roll crit on Growth, and wouldn't you know it, they get a high roll crit to deliver our first death of the run. But at least their sacrifice opens the path to finishing out the fight. We're sad to lose Amon this early, but it's run two and we're still getting to learn the game, so I'm able to shake off the loss pretty easily and turn our focus to the salty run back ahead against Faulkner. So this one thankfully is safe numbers wise, largely for the fact that it's going to be clicking Nightshade, so we know kind of what's going to happen here. We are faster as well. Maybe we just hit the crit flame wheel one shot. That'd be a great way to start the fight. Okay. So this is going to proc the berry, which I assume will make this guaranteed not kill. Cleric Claws? I don't know when Cleric Claws is. Um, yeah, max roll would be 60%, which I don't think we're at. Again, it's only going to be clicking Nightshade, so we're fine regardless. I guess we ideally want to just be at a health that Manfred is... Right, will the burn kill it? We want to be at a health that Manfred will kill. Also, we're in an interesting situation. If Burn kills, do we not proc our berry? I don't know. Berry order is always super, super weird. Quick attack. I guess we're going to find out. Um, I, oh, I, that was, is the move I would want to place. I got to tap a little bit slower. I'm antsy because it's a gym battle. Okay, Manfred. Let's find out if we get the berry or not. We do get the berry, which I think might make this worse for us. Yeah, we were still out of water gun range. Okay, so it's going to be water gun or uh, toxic or confused right on the swap. We're going into Bika Bika. And we would like to see... Actually, I'm not quite sure. Water Gun seems fine. Water Gun's still going to do a lot of damage. Okay, we are only dead to max roll Water Gun crit. Uh, we are faster, so I mean, if we get a crit of our own, it would have to high roll. But we're going to rip that. Confuse Ray or Toxic is ideally what we want to see. Confuse Ray is perfect because we have the Prism. So... We are out. Uh, okay, so we're going to spark that. Oh! We're really we're really doing swapping! <laughs> going to go in the Gligar, I would assume. God damn it. God damn you. So this is going to be rock throw or very rarely wing attack. Just use Sir Forehead. Okay, Gligar was supposed to be Amistar's job, which still is fine here. So we're going to go proc on any super effective move. Interesting. That's not going to do too much. And Aurora Beam is not going to kill without a crit. I can't wait till it, it swaps again. I shouldn't, I shouldn't will that into existence. Okay. This max roll does 98% without a crit. No crit. All right. 
Um, we will be able to kill after that. Okay. And we are not dead to Maxwell Steel Wing Quit. Cool. So then that means... Oh, this is random then. This could be any Pokemon here. Which is quite interesting. This does suck that Boba had to take... I guess Boba's taking about the same amount of damage they would have. Regardless if we didn't have the swap. Okay, we're going back into Manfred. Okay. So, we are not dead to Water Gun Crit. So, I think we should just take what we've got and stay in and try to kill. Uh, I don't know what would be the best here. Confuse Ray would... Uh, Confuse Ray into Self-Hurt, obviously, would be the worst. Okay, that's a killed man time. And that would mean it's another random swap. Tactic. All right. Well, I was going to say, we don't know what moves we are and are not dead to. Because it's metronome and soft-boiled. So we go to our plan and we see what Mojito is able to do. Mantine's dead. Glycar's dead. Let's hope for something good. Come on, dude! <laughs> You gotta be kidding me, dog. Uh, we will synthesis first. You could click. You could literally click any move in the game. Okay, see that's a good move. You should click more of those. So we're gonna go poison powder. That shouldn't do too much. High <laughs> jump kick. I forgot high jump kick was in this game. I feel like with Meditite, you see it so much in the next gen. Um, we'll synthesis again. We want to be as high health as possible because you never know what's coming. Um, skill check. <laughs> Dragon Breath. Oh, no, come on. No para. Awesome. Uh, I think I want to save a synthesis. I'm going to rip one razor leaf here. I mean, we always crit, so. That might be the first time we didn't crit. Okay. More teleport. I want to see more teleport. Absolutely. Okay, there's the berry juice. That'll put it back up to pretty much full. Okay. Uh, I guess... I don't, we're not going to run out of PP on either of these, so we go with the high crit one. Yeah, Tug Dick's like, please. I don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. Let's go. Hmm. That could be slightly annoying. If they die while wraps up, I don't think we stay trapped. But that's still going to hurt a little bit. I think we're going to click. I don't want to waste all of my synthesis. I'm going to wait one more. Maybe I'm being a little greedy. Definitely being a little greedy. How many times are you going to hit? Three's not bad. Cool. So are we in... I should also... I We ran into this guy struggling last time. I should probably have been counting uh, PP. If I can think back through the BS we've seen, like... We're probably at, like, five or six. Bleach? Okay, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> All right. Now, before it ends, it's going to hit us with the, the classic... Um, sacred Fire, like Emily was saying. Finally a crit. Pursuit of Happiness. Okay. Uh, we probably just raise leave the kill it here. It's random swap in. Being at this amount of health is pretty solid. I don't think there's any crazy things we can do here, and we don't want to like swap or anything to tackle's hundred percent accuracy. Tackle is hundred percent accuracy. You yeah. <laughs> I should have clicked razor leaf! I should have clicked razor leaf. How could I have known? I mean it's gonna come in and die, right? Whenever it comes in. 
This dude loves swap. Actually, that might have been the higher damaging move. No, it's about the same. Okay, so this is going to be wing attack. All right. It's going to be wing attack. Uh, any overlapping rolls? No. So can we safely go into Boba and then... Then bait Steel Wing. Okay, whose job is this supposed to be? This is supposed to be Flaffy's job. Toyson doesn't tick on swap? Damn, I thought it did. Oh, I guess it doesn't tick on coming in after Amon dies, but on a swap it does, if I'm not mistaken. Three Pokemon left. Cool. And then this should be Razor Wind. Um, we'll go T Shock. Razor Wind crit does sometimes kill with a little bit of chip. No para. We just need to hit one more time, and we are chilling. And not get crit. <sighs> Ideally not get crit. Okay, no crit. Thundershock should kill. Just 50 to 60%. It might be real close. All right. Getting down to the wire, baby. And Bayleaf will get their level as well, which is awesome. Good sheep. Sheep sweep. Okay. So question one. Are we faster? It's a speed tie at 17. We probably just rip, right? We probably just rip. I think we rip. Yeah, that is that is why we rip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Soft World has normal priority. This should... Oh, this definitely does kill. Cool, cool, cool. Getting Spark is kind of nice. All right. This might be insane if we don't get hypnosis This might be insane if we don't get hypnosis here. What's hypnosis accuracy? 70? I mean, obviously hypnosis miss would be the best thing we could see here. But if it does use damaging move, it's nightshade. So we know exactly how much it's going to do. Until, it's, until we're in, like, quick attack range. Okay. That's a ball. Hypnosis miss? All right. That's a great start. That's an even better continuation. Okay. Pause, champ. Full power? <laughs> Let's go! That is Deathless Faulkner. Despite some weird switches that throw a wrench into our prep, we make it through Faulkner Deathless to make it to the second split of the game for the first time ever. Time to see what awaits us beyond Violet City. And that's where we're going to end this episode off. If you want to pick up where the video leaves off in the VODs, there's a link down in the description. And if you want to watch me stream these runs live, subscribe over here on YouTube or follow over on Twitch to watch the dual stream on either platform. Also, if you want to join the community, there's a link to our Discord down below. And that about does it for me. I've been Saves Untitled, and I'll see y'all next time.